It's 5 a.m. and time for the milking. Twice a day, gallons of high-grade milk are collected through these commercial dairy machines, except it's not cow's milk. It's sheep's milk. Kim and Larry Curtis became entrepreneurs when they started this operation more than a decade ago. Unlike cow's milk, sheep's milk can be frozen because it has a high fat content. The Curtises freeze it and ship it by the ton to distributors in the Northeast. But their business journey didn't stop there. It turns out you can make a lot of things from sheep's milk, including soap. Milk-based soaps are really good for your skin. The lactic acid in it is a natural exfoliant. and. The butter fat helps to hold moisture in. Sheep milk has close to 8% butter fat. So Kim started a second business in the family basement, creating soaps and skin lotions from sheep's milk, pouring them into molds, and selling the products through a distributor to specialty retail shops. It has been very successful. Um, it's paid for the dairy, plus it's paid um, for all kinds of things, like we're putting up a building for the soap right now. Um, it's been very good for us. The Great Plains were settled by farmers and by ranchers, but some think the future of the Midwest small farm towns and the hope of avoiding further population loss lies in encouraging the creation of small non-farm businesses instead. So alongside the ranchers and the farmers, entrepreneurs. Yes, we are seeing increases in entrepreneurship. We're seeing increases in not only the number of people starting up, but the number of employees that they're supporting. In Nebraska, the creation of non-farm small businesses accounts for about 70 percent of the net job growth in the state's rural counties over the last three years. In communities where the population is measured in hundreds, not thousands, the creation of even a couple of jobs makes a difference. It helps tremendously, um, these little cottage businesses, because they not only provide the pride and possibly, hopefully, you know, um, community awareness for that community, but you know, all those little employees are the reason why that family doesn't maybe pack up and go to a larger metropolitan area. Experts say the internet is another key reason why entrepreneurs can take root here. The web lets them conduct business and sell products without needing to be close to interstate highways or large cities. In fact, many here see their location as a positive, not a negative. There is a very strong attachment to place in rural communities. It's psychological, it's economic, it's social. Uh, last year we surveyed rural Nebraskans in the Nebraska Rural Poll and only 4% said they wanted to leave. That's 96% that say, I like this, I want to live here, I need to figure out how to create that future. That's something the Curtis family and their business, Shepherd's Dairy, are already doing. <coughs> their efforts are helping their neighboring town, Anselmo, with a population of less than 200. When things get busy, friends and neighbors are hired to help with the packing and shipping. It's helping um, a lot of farm wives be able to stay home with their children because it was a job they could do at home. Um, it also gave a sense of pride to our community because um, our, our town was being recognized. Yeah, there's been a lot of impact in the neighborhood. The family hopes that impact will be felt for a long time to come. Jeff Yastine, Nightly Business Report, Anselmo, Nebraska.